This week on Sportsman TV, we're with Captain Travis, who came from San Diego to fish with us. Come on, go with us. Very little one to say the least, but water's clean enough for it. Something to start with. Didn't barely touch it in terms of hitting a little male. Isn't that your eating size there, Gray? <laughs> Let's check and see if it's 12. There you go. Nice. Nice speckled trout. Just letting it sit, huh? Just kind of dragging it on. But what we're doing today is we're starting off early. It's, it's summertime, so you always want to get out early. Got a fish on right in the back. We're catching speckled trout out here in Dularge. The key is, is we're drifting these platforms, locating them, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to mimic that wherever we go. So if we're catching them off the northwest corner, the plan is, is to make sure we check every northwest corner of every platform we hit. Dularge is located south of Homa, and uh, where we're fishing right now, we come out of uh, Grand Caillou, and we just head south over by Raccoon Point. We fish from Raccoon Point to Ship Shoal 33, kind of our range of locations we fish from east to west. Might be a double. Oh. Is it a double? No, I think it's a single. I saw one jump, kind of seemed like it was a double, but nope, it's a single. Whoop! Little, little school trout. Perfect. Perfect. That's what we're looking for. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> Over here at Bowie Outfitters, hunting and fishing is our passion. We can help you pick all the right gear for your next fishing trip. We spend time in the woods too, so we know what products to recommend when hunting season comes around. We understand the outdoors and what it takes to have success on your hunting and fishing adventures. So come on down to Bowie Outfitters and let us help get you going. Bowie Outfitters, everything outdoors. The Parks family and our team has been handcrafting Blue Wave boats since 1992. Blue Wave's foundation is built on knowing what's important in every aspect that matters, from speed, quality, performance, and features built into every boat. Blue Wave boats are custom built with the highest standards, with everything you need to make your day on the water a success for generations to come. We specialize in building high quality, custom performance fishing boats. Hi, I'm Greg Hackney, 2014 Bassmaster Elite Series Angler of the Year. You know, fishing both tournament trails, both BASS and FLW, is really hard on your equipment. And one thing that I depend on to do all my heavy lifting with is my TNH Marine Atlas Jack Plate. Atlas Jack Plates come pre-drilled for shallow water anchor attachment. They also come in six different offsets, one that fits everyone's needs. You know, for me, the biggest thing about Atlas Jack Plates, they make it a lot easier for me to make a living. TNH Marine has been the choice of champions since 19. The original Sportsman Cool Breeze shirt has been greatly improved. This new version has a moisture activated cooling technology, which actually turns your sweat into cooling power. Ventilated mesh sides add extra breathability. It's UPF rated and antimicrobial. It comes in five different colors and is now also available in short sleeve. Get yours now at forsportsman.com. Sportsman, it's who we are. You know, the spawn is something that typically happens uh, 
you know, realistically high 50s, they start gardening area. Uh, and then they'll start to lock down. And then at 65 degrees, I mean, they actually go through the process of spawning. One thing that happens when they first move out there, they typically guard a, bit, a large area. Now there's gonna come a time when the bait has to be exactly where the bed is to get bit. But before that period of time, when those fish first move up, and typically, if they, let's say they're gonna bed on a cypress tree, they're, they're guarding a 20 foot circle around that. You know, when that happens, I, I really like swimming a jig, using a swim jig more. If the water's warming up, even a frog, something they're attracted to, a spinner bait, a moving bait. Because the deal is, they may not be exactly on that target at that period of time, but they're somewhere in that zone around it, garden. So they'll chase, so I want something I can swim. But I'm not fishing it on the bottom, I'm swimming it past that cover. There you go. Probably a little male trout. Well, you, a little, white. little white trout. There you go. <laughs> and it, it, you know what? What I found is that you know, before the full moon, we were catching some big trout, and then after the full moon, it's like them lady gr took off, and now we're catching basically just little male trout. Oh come on! <laughs> Surely I ain't got a catfish this early. Come on. <coughs> there. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna you need go. your glove. No, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take care of them for you, bud. <laughs> they fight good. They like to pee when they get on you. But yeah, they can they can go back. Half shark, half catfish. You hit it coming up. And shaker, fun times right there. In, he, he annihilated that. Sucked it in, ready to go, which is always good. Boom, boom. <laughs> Thank you. He says there's more down there. <laughs> in the early summer, I was catching trout that were spitting up. They're like little squid, you know, barely fit in the palm of your hand, which I've never seen that. Um, now they're spitting up, it looks like croakers or something, some type of bait fish. There you go, Greg. It looks like a decent fish. There you go, bud. Nice trout. That went perfect. perfect. Yeah, got the easy release and everything. That'll work. Pretty decent sized fish, too. Nice. The better fish have been close. How did I know that was fixing to happen? <laughs> I was like, why don't you just go, oh, ahead, and, does, go ahead and flop off? So I'll it. take no chance of damaging, you know, my mod because when I'm not doing sportsman TV, you know, I'm a hand model. <laughs> you know, so I gotta be careful around these fish with all these teeth. <laughs> yeah. The migration of our trout is what they do is Right about April, they start making their way out, out offshore to, to breed and, and to uh, spawn. And they really need that higher salinity of water so their eggs float. And uh, we'll find these fish out here through usually beginning of September and then we start you know, staying inside. Our summertime pattern, you're not gonna find many trout inside in the marsh. You'll, you'll hook one here and there, but if you want the numbers, you really have to be offshore right now. And uh, we're fishing state waters right now. That's actually one of the reasons why this rig is still here. Um, but we do fish in federal waters. So if you're fishing both, you gotta be real careful with your redfish. If you happen to catch redfish in state waters, you better not bring them into federal waters. So just keep an eye on that if you fish out here. It, that's kind of kind of, of a rare uh, incident uh, or instance in uh, Louisiana. You don't usually fish state and federal waters in, within a couple miles of each other, yeah. Oh, God. There you go. Yep. We got some birds diving, got fish biting. Oh, as soon as it hit the water. <laughs> yeah, that's the way the as soon first as hit the one water. Yep. Oh, yeah. There you go. Nice. Yep. See them shrimp pop. 
Ooh. Look at this. This two right here. That's what I'm... Oh, I got a freaking ladyfish. I'm like, The <laughs> ladyfish? No, or I got two trout. No, I you got... Yeah, you good. It's the only... There you go. Maybe one keeper and one short. Yeah. <laughs> That's about right. I mean, you fish these birds, you're going to... Hey, you I'm know, good. Yeah. You I'm you, good at catching them two at a time. I, you, they don't have to be Look at this. Fish. This shrimp popping right in front of the boat. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, <laughs> look at him. Oh. <laughs> look at that. Oh, look at that. Yeah, oh, my God. Look at that. Oh, oh, oh. Look. <laughs> look. Oh, oh, oh. It's, oh, man, they spit it. Oh, what is that? Oh, don't you get my toe? I... Nah, it's a blue fish. Baby blue. There you Baby go. Baby blue. Oop, there we go. That is so fun. Man, isn't it? That is so fun. Something to it's... see about all the elements, you know, working. You got your, you got your birds, your fish, your shrimp, all Good like thing. a nice little circle of life. And then here we come. <laughs> we just fit right in. We fit right into that Final circle piece of, life. of the puzzle. That's right. This is when that, that power pull is key, you know? Yep, that's right. Yeah. What did we used to do? There you go, bud. Yeah, you almost like... I'm gonna get my pants dirty. Oop, right at the boat, huh? <laughs> Bowie Outfitters is your one-stop shop for all types of outdoor cooking. Tailgating? We've got Bayou Classic Barbecue Pits and King Cooker Jambalaya Pots. If frying's your favorite, check out r &B Works Cajun Fryers and Cajun Injector Products to keep meat moist and flavorful. Black iron skillets are key in a southern kitchen, and Bowie carries a big selection of lodge cast iron, plus Bayou Classic Pots for your next crawfish boil. Come to Bowie Outfitters and let us get you cooking. Bowie Outfitters, everything outdoors. You put the cool in life. We put the cool in coolers. Arctic ice. Louisiana Sportsman Magazine. For over 31 years, your source for fishing and hunting information. Each month you will find stories by local experts on everything from bass to redfish to ducks, deer to trout and turkey. We've got incredible local information that you can use immediately to get more success outdoors. You'll also enjoy monthly columns on cooking, the latest lures, GPS locations, shooting, kayaks, and much more. Have Louisiana Sportsman delivered to your house and safe. $24.99 gets you a full year of Louisiana Sportsman. To order today, visit louisianasportsman.com. This is Don Dubuque asking you to join me as a member of the Coastal Conservation Association. For 30 years, CCA has worked in Louisiana to conserve our incredible fisheries, making sure that our fishing is great today and for generations to come. Whether looking out for redfish and specks, eliminating gill nets, building reefs across the coast, or work at the state capitol and in D.C., CCA is doing what's best for the fish and the sport we love so much. Your $30 membership will ensure that this work and our great fishing endures well into the future. Go to CCALouisiana.com and join CCA today. Yeah, the, the real inn is a, it's a five bedroom, five bath camp. Sleeps up to 20 people. It accommodates parties of two, three, four, or up to 20 people. So anyone can stay there. We do have a bunch of guides that work out of the real inn. So if you're looking for a fishing guide, you can charter one of them plus stay at the real end. And it's real nice. All you got to do is wake up, wake up early and walk downstairs and uh, you're on the boat. So it's a, it's a really good setup. It really is. We do have two chefs that work with us. So we always got somebody to cook for you if you want somebody to, to, to cook some uh, Southern cuisine. We're here in Dularch at the real end and we got celebrity with us, Chef Ricky, and he has cooked us up something fabulous. But I don't know what it is. Well, what we got here is, uh, is my version of Arancini. We have a little risotto in there, some crawfish, a little smoked sausage, a little bit of mozzarella cheese, my secret sauce on the bottom. I can't tell you what it is, a secret. A little fried soft-shell crab, a little uh, lemon zest, hollandaise, 
should be great. Uh, now, what type of beverage do I need to have with this? That goes well with any beverage. Nice. There we go. See if I can get a second one. Yeah, that's what I do. You know, yeah, you, wait. You, you, you know. slow your reel down, and maybe you know you you sometimes can pick up that second one. Ah, tough life only being able to catch one though, huh? <laughs> yep, they're all gonna be that twelve and a quarter. Yeah. Oh. He's. I'm sure he's good too. Yeah. Huh? Well, one came off, and I caught the dang. Uh, the trout came off and I caught a freaking... You got the bluefish? That's weird that them bluefish are hanging out right here. I usually find them in the deeper water. There you go. Like, I don't even have a tail on there. Right. No, it don't matter. <laughs> it don't Just matter. Just get it out there. Yeah, that's right. Look at that. Look shit. at that oh. popping out. Dude, that's bad. That's some cool stuff. Woo, man, these guys are playing, playing hardball here. You got here. two? Oh, you do, yep. two. Oh. Uh, nothing like two at a time. Look like both keepers, too. It's all right. Oh, yep, there you go. <laughs> and then just, just killing it over there. It's almost not fair, is it, Greg? I know. I mean, it really it's, not, it's too easy. You know what? I mean, it's just, no, it's not too easy. It's just <laughs> right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. One's a keeper. This one. Yeah. 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 Yeah, they're killing those shrimp. You know, you can sometimes just put the power bowl and keep catching, but what will happen is when we put the power pole down, we caught for a little bit, and then they turned into gaff tops and smaller trout. So trying to work towards the birds again, get back on that bigger school where they're, they're competing for that bait. That's the name of the game. Whenever you see uh, oh. shrimp, if you see birds diving on shrimp, you know there's fish there. The only question mark during the summer oh, uh, is whether or not they're going to be trout or gaff tops. You can come out here when it's a lot rougher than it is right now, but this is just prime time. You know, we got absolutely great conditions because uh, it gets really, really hot out here in the summertime if you don't have any breeze. So it's a good thing to have a little breeze. But I mean, I guess realistically, even if it was two to three footers, you can catch them in it. But it just, you know, it takes some of the fun out of it. Uh, and you know, this is a deal. If you're going to come out here, you need the buddy system. You, somebody needs to know where you are. You need to be able to contact somebody in case something happens. There we go. Um, Some. Oh, a little. Oh, oh yes. Oh. Oh, it is a speck. It is. I thought it was a little white trout. I did too. You can go back home and find your mama. Now, I, I noticed you wear that That's glove right. on your left hand. Yeah. And being from San Diego, have you ever worn it on your right hand? No. I'm just checking, huh? <laughs> I just <laughs> I noticed you wear one glove and I just, you know, I, well, you know, uh, us San Diego guys yeah. like that one earring, you know, the, right. I just, <laughs> well, this is the other deal. I mean, you know, and it's kind of a slang term, but people from this part of uh, Louisiana, you know, a lot of them are referred to as coon asses. Okay. So since you're from San Diego, what kind of ass does that make you? <laughs> I don't No comment. No comment. <laughs> I just say dude. Is that that a dude? <laughs> dude <yeah. laughs>I mean, he is crushing them up there. Woo! I'm wearing Yeah, there you ow. go. Get a woo in there. <laughs> Wham! <laughs> oh, yeah. Too bad they're all males. You hear him croaking? I'm thinking he's saying, throw me back, please. Thank God I'm not 12. <laughs>
Love that. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of times you can fish down a stretch and catch redfish scattered, and they may be in little pods of one or two, where typically when you find trout, they're big schools, you know. And who knows how big they are? Sometimes they could be thousand fish schools, you know. Maybe this is a hundred fish school, you know. I mean, it's hard to, uh, it's hard to tell. We were coming over here to fish regardless, and when we got over here, they were already schooling on shrimp, big shrimp running out of the water. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's when tr trout fishing's like this, it's as good as it gets. I mean, you catch them two at a time, you get bit every cast. I mean, it's uh, pretty wild to see it like that, you know. And look, I don't even have tails on the bait now. I'm just throwing out pieces of plastic, and they're biting. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> little guy Let's see if we can get on that school again oh it's white isn't it no nah, he's a little oh, he's, but he that's it, something some of them about half uh that front i was just looking at the front uh, oh yeah they don't have that on the i actually one time i was fishing with a buddy and he threw back it was our it was our 50th fish and it had like just a barely little specks on the oh, tail oh oh, oh yeah. you see that oh it's a big gaff top look at that big gaff top blowing out of the Here at Bowie Outfitters, we know that bow hunting is a year-round pursuit of perfecting your game. That's why we operate a full indoor archery range, stock our shelves with the best accessories on the market, and offer a service and repair shop. We carry top brands like Hoyt, Bowtech, PSE, Matthews, Bear, Barnett, Mission, Ten Point, and more. Bowie Outfitters. Everything outdoors. are my straight king s11s get your own louisiana sportsman magazine for over 31 years your source for fishing and hunting information each month you will find stories by local experts in everything from bass to redfish to ducks deer to trout and turkey we've got incredible local information that you can use immediately to get more success outdoors you'll also enjoy monthly columns on cooking the latest lures gps locations shooting kayaks and much more have Louisiana Sportsman delivered to your house and safe. $24.99 gets you a full year of Louisiana Sportsman. To order today, visit louisianasportsman.com. This is Kyle. Kyle genuinely enjoys his job, sometimes. What Kyle really enjoys is fishing. That's why he logged onto lasaltwater.com to find a Louisiana charter captain. It was here in Louisiana that Kyle had the best fishing day of his life. Kyle's charter captain helped him catch the most fish he's ever caught, ever. So do what Kyle did. Find your charter captain on lasaltwater.com today. Looks like I spit his stomach up. Oh, there he is. Well, top water hand. Top water, yeah. My face been waiting for that. Fishing birds, you know, they they're gonna they're gonna come in. They got Greg with one. You just gotta keep moving with them. You know, once once you stop biting, then don't don't sit there and wait for them to just come right back to you. You know, they're, these schools of trout are chasing shrimp, so they're moving. So you gotta move with them. Sometimes you gotta power up with the big motor. Sometimes you could just work your trolling motor all the way to them. And you know, they're just right. <laughs> yeah. We're a little bit unique over here uh, in Dularge. What we do is we fish a lot of double rigs. And that way, so when we get into the packs of, of speckled trout, we could catch two at a time. It's a, it's a real sweet thing. But I take with 25 to 30 um, pound mono filament, cut a, you know, about three and a half foot line. You tie a quarter ounce jig head. And I will go up to 3 8 ounce 
if I'm fishing some of the deeper rigs and the tide is rolling, and then I like to just kind of look at it and say, okay, give it, you know, eight to 12 inches. And all I do is pinch it at the top, do a simple overhand knot. Pretty simple little setup, but very effective, especially when the trout are in a feeding frenzy, you can do a lot of damage in a short amount of time. Keep her doing it, all right? Close. Close. I need to get me one of them left-handed gloves like them boys from out west wear. Yeah. From the left coast, you know what I'm saying. Those left coast people. One thing about all these, these barrier islands, this one in particular too for us, is when it's blowing real hard, you can get right behind this island and still catch a few fish. You know, sometimes they're, they're not stacked up as much as right now, but you do, I do tend to catch smaller fish over here, but you can't be, can't get too greedy when it's blowing that hard and you got nasty conditions. That one might be an eater. That one might be the old Cajun uh, fryer. I think uh, you're right. I, think. I don't know. Time will tell. Oh, oh like that one? <laughs> yeah. Right at, right at the boat. Man. That thing got, oh, now see, I guess they did it. <laughs> What do you mean? Just need a different blade, I guess. Maybe maybe it was the purple and chartreuse. No. Nope, it, it was the white. They wanted the white one. <laughs> Little guy though. Oh, oh. Man, I tell you what. Triples, doubles, it's all here. Oh. If you're into a full freezer, you need to try out Dular's Louisiana. Join us here next time on Sportsman TV.